Now, this game is enormous for the Patriots as they're trying to earn a playoff bye, which has been so critical. According to our Football Power Index, with a win, they have a 98% chance to get that bye. With a loss, it falls to 38%. A loss, and the Chiefs would have the inside track at the second seed. So, look, uh, Mark, you played in this division forever, right? and you guys went in there with the Jets in 2010 playoffs and uh, knocked them off in Foxborough. But the reality is that the Patriots have owned the AFC East for a generation, for 20 years. This game feels like the first real challenge to that. If Buffalo goes in there and beats them tomorrow, it feels for the first time like we may be seeing the real end of the Patriots dynasty. It sounds like this could be the changing of the guard. I'm just not ready to go there yet. And my reasoning is, I said in the production meeting, man, something always happens when you play at Foxborough. You guys know what I'm talking about. The headset goes out. The iPad doesn't work. The pictures, back when they had pictures on the sidelines. Are you yeah. saying that they're cheating? I would never say they're <laughs> cheaters. I'm just saying, what do we say, Greeny? They're on a relentless pursuit of a competitive edge. <laughs> <laughs> I like the phrasing. Look at him. Look at Mark Sanchez in Foxborough. So what happened in that game? Your headset went out? Uh, uh, some went out. Uh, we didn't get pictures for the first, like, three drives. And, and, and wow. you still wound up beating them 28-21 in an AFC playoff game. And Bart Scott famously said afterwards, can't wait. Can't wait. Afterward, that's the legendary game. And there you were celebrating. So it's been done, <laughs> but not often, <laughs> is the mom. point. So how do the Bills go yeah. in there and pull off a win that I still believe, just based upon the history, would shock a lot of people? Well, you... 200 yards. 200 yards. I, I, you know, I, I equated them running, Bills rushing for 200 yards like Mar Sanchez yeah. wants to, me having 20 tackles right now. It's not happening, right? So there's no way that I can see the Bills going in because Josh Allen can't handle that pressure. Josh Allen threw three interceptions last time and will also be a big moment. And that was a close game. The Bills defense stacks up well against the Pats defense. It's that the Pats defense stacks up better against the Bills offense. That's the problem. So it becomes a question of which quarterback is going to make the mistakes, then obviously you're better. Brady in that circumstance on a, on a positive side. So if you're Buffalo, you play conservative, you run the ball, you try and win the game 13-10? I think that's probably the only way for them to do it because New England doesn't ever beat themselves. Uh, but if you're New England, like what they did a great job of the first time, they kept Josh Allen in the pocket. He had 25 yards rushing, which sounds like a lot for a quarterback, but that's one of the bottom games he's had for this season. But what he is able to do this year, like he picks up cheap first downs. 38 times when he has scrambled, he has picked up first downs. And so, as a defender, Vilma can talk this. Like, there's nothing worse you hate than having everybody covered Break up back. and yep. the quarterback's able to go pick up seven, eight yards and continue to move the chains and keep them on the field. They're going to have to do that to wear down this New England defense, Greeny, yeah. that's been one of the best in the NFL. But if you keep them on the field, they can, they yeah, can begin to come The problem, Bobby, is that when you need Allen to make a throw, he's got to give you four or five yeah. throws in this game. When you need him to make a throw, it's going to be a pick. That, I mean, that's just what he's done. That's they what's gotta, happened. They got to keep him in the pocket, corral him. And for Josh Allen, you got to steal me two to three first downs just to mm. break their back. Look, but I don't bottom line of it is this: you want to be the champ, you got to beat the champ. Right. You're going to go in that house. Yeah. If, you, if you're Josh Allen, you got to make that play. You don't have to throw for 300 yards. Right. You got to make four big plays tomorrow. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.